Hello, hola, and bonjour, everybody. This is Doug from Crow Rose Bodybuilding, representing half the NB3. And today, this video is kind of to show you guys a little behind the scenes of my day to day in contest prep. So, on to meal number one. <laughs> Alright guys, meal number one's done. I got two slices of cheese and five egg whites in there. Super simple, took about five minutes. And then seven ounces of pineapple. Alright, stay tuned for the next. Alright guys, I'm going to start my car. I'm going to go get some coffee, then I'll be headed to the gym to hit some back. It's day, I want to say four in a row of snow days from no school. It's like negative degrees right now. Wind's blowing like crazy, I'm freezing. Hopefully the car will start. <laughs> and all I've had to eat other than what I showed you guys was uh, I had Akashi little uh, berry bar thing or whatever, granola bar. And I had uh, Greek yogurt. And I'm about to have for a pre-workout uh, one rice cake with uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and that's it. So, uh, I'll be headed to the gym soon. Uh, stay tuned. I know things get hard, girl. You got it, girl. You got it. There you go. Can't you tell by how they looking at you every way? I'm leaving the gym right now, and I'm sorry I couldn't really get any footage in there. It was packed full of people, but. I'll tell you what, I did back. I know Matthew's doing back today too, so be looking out for his video because I know he's making one about his maxes, um, about the powerlifting and big lifts and stuff like that. So make sure you follow him. But yeah, I just did back today and some cardio, and I did that Stairmaster, and oh, it kicked my ass. I'm not gonna lie. It, beep. But uh, I am exhausted, and like I only did it for like 10 minutes, but I was going like pretty high intensity, and the whole workout was. And I hit some deadlifts. I went up to like 275, but I was doing like pretty good form and everything. And oh man, I'm dying. But anyway, off to go make my post-workout meal. So stay tuned. You know, guys. On a side note, when I'm cutting, sometimes I seriously wonder if I even lift. But then I remember that yeah, I, I think I do. Alright, post-workout meal time. Alright guys, post-workout meal. Gonna be having tuna croquettes. If you want to know the recipe, go to Physiques of Greatness's channel. So it's gonna be two eggs, two full eggs. I'm gonna have fish oil, just one, two cans of tuna, some wheat germ, which is bodybuilding heaven because it's all a bunch of vitamins and stuff. Here is what I showed you guys in another video. I don't know if it's up yet or not. But it's my protein powder. And then instead of using peanut butter, I'm going to use some PB2 just because it's less calories. And then I'll put it in the microwave and warm it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. No way. Egg on it. Alright guys, I just finished my tuna. Except for one of them didn't make it. Oh, I'll tell you what though, I'm going to rinse that off and eat it anyway. Those are the tuna croquettes or whatever, and then I'm going to be washing them down with some Diet Mountain Lightning. And I'm going to watch some TV, and I already ate my protein. I should you guess what that looked like before, but yeah, this is meal number whatever. Alright guys, I just finished up some practice posing, and I'll be the first to tell you, I messed up today with my diet. And I didn't necessarily actually mess up, but I didn't even realize I flew through my protein intake today, and I don't even know how. I mean, I get it once I look back at my food. I ate a lot of the things that are high in protein, but I logged everything on my fitness pal, and without me even knowing it, I already went two grams above what I want as my limit. So that's okay. I mean, two grams, I'm nine weeks out. I mean, that's not a big deal. But it left me with like 10 grams of fat and I think 71 carbs. So the rest of the day, it's pretty late anyway. I woke up pretty late today. Tomorrow I'll have school, so that's going to suck. But the rest of the day is pretty much just going to be 
probably like oatmeal, maybe some rice, and just simple, easy stuff like that. Just keep me full for the rest of the day, and then I'll be done, and I'll restart tomorrow. So. All right, guys. It's about 20 after 8 right now, and I'm making my last meal. And I told you guys I had like 70 carbs, so what I did was I made some protein. It was 30 grams, or not protein, popcorn. It was 30 grams of popcorn, so I was like 20 carbs, and then the sweet potato of that, and then the rest of my pineapple, because... I just, I really like pineapple, and I uh, kind of need to get rid of it before it goes bad. So that's the rest of my meals for today, and that all adds up to 70 carbs. So I hit that just perfect. I was a little under on fat and a little over on protein, so hey, I'll take it. And I'm doing my meal prep for tomorrow. Here's some thighs and some rice. And that just goes to show you guys that... Um, I do switch up definitely what I eat every day, but today was definitely typical for when I don't have much going on, but my meals for school and everything, that's pretty different because I'm more on the go. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the video that shows you, um, a little bit into what I do every day. Like, like I said, this was a snow day, so it was more laid back and everything. I didn't have a lot going on, but I hope you guys like this video and comment and tell me if... You want to see another one, or if you didn't like it, or whatever, and make sure that you follow Matthew on his powerlifting videos and his progress. And I hope you guys like this video. Speaking of that, you can actually like it, throw it in a comment, and you can subscribe. Remember, guys, there's always one on the way, so stay tuned. I'm sure if you're cutting, you're craving chocolate, peanut butter, and anything like that. And so what this is, is it's kind of like a healthy alternative, and I'm sure I'm not the first one that's done this, but 